or anybody else in the room with your husband uh, or in the building? Yeah, his business partner was here um, with him at the time. Was he hurt or, or killed or anything else? Or? No, he is alive. Um, and as far as I know, he, he wasn't hurt. Um, he, he did say that he thinks that he was maybe hit with something or he was knocked out, but that's as much information as I have. Good morning, everybody. This is about the Nick Cordova case. And this is a silent partner right here, David Michael Sweetman. And this is a mugshot of his from October 2nd, 2014. Um, sounds like he's been a shady business guy. Um, he's been sued. He owned a towing company, so let's get into it. For years, the scumbag invaded being posted on the dirty until today. David Michael Sweetman runs a scam company called Monster Towing that illegally holds your car if you can't pay against the state laws. Him and his scumbag employees prey on innocent people who go into Jack in the Box on Mill and University to order a burger. They come out and their car is gone without any warning from the owner. He's a lowlife who got arrested for beating up his girlfriend at Please expose this trash to the dirty army. Okay. Well, there he is. Now, people are leaving comments. And I was looking. And look at who left a comment. I invite, here he is. I invite the people who hide behind animated need to come forward with your identity. Any accusations as horrific as yours should have a person willing to stand by it. I am a free man, always will be. I have done nothing wrong. I have a towing company and it makes people who feel they are better than others be accountable for their actions. Everything is on the video of people parking illegally has been told legally. When the people that are parked and went down to the mill to get drunk show up to get their cars, they are treated fairly and legally. Their actions are also on video. I could show you videos of people being vulgar, racist, outright stupid. Sadly, there are people who could not who could lose their jobs for acting how they have. Many have VPS officers who commented on me were the ones that I had eternal affairs investigate for bribery and other illegal actions. Unfortunately, I have met and recorded the actions of some dirty cops. I again invite anyone who wants to make allegations against me to step up, call me with your claims, have the balls to put your name on what you say instead of being Bugs that you are putting up anonymous posts and hiding in the shadows. I'm in waiting. <laughs> scum. Oh my god. Oh my. Yeah, his wife died of, um, she drowned in a bathtub or something. Scumbag murdered his wife after he was caught with a girlfriend and three year old son's wife. Laura filed for divorce and was winning. Then his wife is found dead. Wow. Okay. So anyways, he's on the dirty. I'm just saying, this is the guy right here. Okay, and this is a court record for David Sweetman and Laura Sweetman from the United States Tax Court in Washington, D.C., the IRS. Ooh! September 22, 2014, trial calendar. When it was called, Mr. Sweetman did not appear. Dr. Sweetman also did not appear, but a lawyer whom she retained before her ultimate death did. When the court asked him whether an estate or interstate admission had been set up, he replied, okay. Yes, she was a young lady. She came in. She, you know, we met. And two weeks later, I get a call from her divorce attorney and said she died. We think there was foul play. It's being investigated. The court said, wow. The attorney said, yeah, I know. The court said, and they let the body out for cremation. She was a neurologist. Oh. I thought that was a simple su substantiation case, Your Honor. The court said, she was in divorce proceedings? Yes. Oh, no. I can see where that's going then. 
the court took under consideration various motions to dismiss the case or continue it. Since then, there has been no news, a completion of a murder investigation, apparently no estate for Dr. Sweetman, Dr. Laura Sweetman. The court is reluctant, however, to simply dismiss the case. It is conceivable that there is a potential innocent spouse defense to any joint liability that might be determined. If so, if it is possible that this would descend to her minor children. It is ordered on August 1st, 2017, motion to continue is granted. Wow. Order the respondent motion to dismiss for lack of prosecution is denied. So, yeah, that was June 30th, 2016, and yeah, that's interesting. Wow. Okay, this is David's wife that passed away, Laura Lisa Sweetman. She passed away 2013. So if you want to go ahead and read this, go ahead. David seems to have several different kind of businesses he's in. Um, tow truck company and this, this here right here. David Sweetman, truckdrivingjobs.com. There's all the information right here. All right. 